Hey, good morning. This is Art Matters New York. I'm Hans Vici. I'm with my colleague, uh, Mark Safan. Good morning. Hi. <laughs> and hi to everyone else. It's Mary is here and Phyllis, uh, our members of the, our art group and discussion group. And uh, first of all, uh, happy birthday to Phyllis. Thank you so much. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. Happy uh, birthday. Today we are a, a small group. Usually we have more members around, but uh, we have we have we're gonna see a piece of Mary, uh, and uh, and we look at it and discuss it. We are excited about it, Mary. Thanks, Hans. Can we pick up on the conversation that we were just having? No. Uh, yes, about Instagram. No. About what? no. No. Okay. Before we went on. Okay. I was just curious about the band that you were uh, oh. talking about. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Let's talk shortly about it. Uh, just briefly, you know, briefly. On my Instagram account, I posted from my music diary short clips they are it's it's about sound what sound makes you know i started actually with a clip with the inauguration of uh, obama uh, uh, you know uh, obama's inauguration and they uh, what and th this was so riveting to me when i saw that or heard that on tv you know they saluted him in a hall where people were sitting and so this, the speaker says, uh, now uh, I salute uh, Mr. New President Obama. And then you hear a screeching sound, which is, it, it sounds horrible. And I thought, what is this? And then Obama says, oh, please sit down. Thank you, please sit down. And then, you know, that, that's the clip. And, you know, it was actually the sound of people getting up off from a chair. And so the, when the chair has no, uh, uh, some fabric underneath, it, uh, on, a, on, a, on a surface, it makes a horrible sound. And that sound I posted. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, and then I posted another sound and mm -hmm. so on. The second sound was actually a faucet, which makes a, a, a tone. It was in Chateau Marmo 2004, in the room for uh, uh, 20, uh, 42. It's a short clip, 16 seconds. And for some reason, there was suddenly, uh, I, you know, I saw suddenly on my message, you have 2K. I thought, 2K, what is 2K? Usually, you know, I have maybe 17 or 50 likes when I post something, a piece of art, you know. But suddenly, yes, two, you have 2K, you know. I thought, what is this? And then, even, and then a couple of, Hours later, said you have now five k. You know, I, so I I went to the and I thought five k. Let's see what is this. And <laughs> then uh, you know, and then I went to the uh, dashboard. You know, the professional dashboard. Right. And then you see there the statistics, and I thought, oh my god, six thousand people what? were looking at that thing already. You know, and then it went up and up and up, and comments went in. It was very very interesting. And uh, and now it's uh, I reached about hundred and thirty thousand accounts, oh and I I have twelve at least twelve thousand on, on that clip, twelve thousand uh, likes, and um, and that's also very interesting. That just uh, if you have when you see you have somebody has let's say hundred likes, you can actually uh, multiply it by by ten, then you know how many accounts. Uh, it's it's quite accurate in a way. You can, uh, all, you know, it's like a approximation. Yeah. When you when you see that, that somebody has two thousand likes, you can say they have twenty thousand uh, accounts reached for it. Yeah. So, because in you don't see the statistics of other people. You yeah. see only the likes and you see the comments. So the comments came in. It was very very interesting. And there was you know it's a young audience between eighteen and twenty four uh, years old. And uh, so one guy wrote already, like, is this death grip? And I thought, well, what is death grip? Is, what is this? It is a, you know, like a slang thing, you know, like. Uh, right. Then I went, uh, dude, I had to, I, I had to Google death grip and said, 
oh, this is a music band, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and very interesting. And it was an experimental group and so on. And they, uh, uh, it's, it sounds very, very interesting, actually. Wow. And uh, <laughs> so I read that they have a huge Wikipedia uh, uh, thing, you know, which you can read about their history. They, they dissolved, actually, you know, and so on. And, uh, and the point was actually, they were also at Chateau Marmont at one time, and they photographed, you know, the, the drummers, uh, Zach uh, Hill, or what's his name? His, they, they, on his penis, they wrote the title of the album <laughs> and made a photograph, and <gasps> that was the cover of the album. You know oh, it's I, mean? called, and, I see it. It's called no. It's called no love. Exactly. I no. see it here. I'm on Spotify. Yeah, exactly. You know, oh and and that was very controversial. They, I think, they lost also the contract with their. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> right. You see that. It's funny. Yeah. Uh, I I I I don't have it handy, but I I have a photograph which I can show you next time, oh, maybe. Uh, but you know, it's like. So it was very controversial, you know, and it was at Chateau Marmo at this hotel. Which in I LA? In LA, Los Angeles? Hollywood, you know, that's the famous Chateau Marmo. Yeah, on the Sunset Where, where Newton, yeah. you know, the photographer was living, uh, Helmut Newton, you know Helmut Newton? Yeah, yeah. Very, very uh, uh, great photographer, you know. It's, uh, yeah, uh, wonderful. Yeah. And, uh, I think he, he, he didn't get the curve and went into a, a, a wall and died, you know, mm. when you came out of the garage or whatever. <laughs> yes, but that's not that, you know, it was, it's interesting, this thing. So what I did then also after this death grip thing, which is still going on, I put another movie there, a little clip, which is uh, on a Bronx bus, you know, and the sound, the vibration of a seat. It was like, <laughs> You know, like this, you have all these sounds and this whole, you know what I'm saying? And it, it, it is, I think that, that it, it's only seven seconds or whatever, but it got now also already 68,000 uh, accounts. Let me ask so you something. Is a, that, let me ask you something, Hans. Is that spilling over at least a little to your art? Are people looking on your Instagram account and looking at your... Not, 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 not that I see anything okay. really. Maybe some do, but you know, it's, it's, you know, I think how it's measured also is, you know, once you are maybe just stopping a, a second or two seconds, it's maybe counted, you know. Usually you go through the phone like this, you know, <laughs> you know, and then you stop somewhere. Yeah. And then, and then, and then it starts to count, you know. Because in the statistics, you see exactly how many hours the film, the, the movie was played. In my case, it's my, maybe about 400 hours, but but the, the average time is 10 seconds. Yeah. It means people are so fast, maybe only one second or, or two seconds. And right. Then That's right. Like it, it counts, you know. Yes. And it's depending if it's a new account or, or is it, wow. you know, and so on. It's an amazing thing. I don't know how the algorithm exactly works, and I don't. I. I. I not even. I. I. You know. I usually make not even tax. You know. There yeah. is no tag there. It's only the title, and uh, you know. And uh, you know. Uh, it, for some reason, it spread. It, it was. Uh, Can you play it now? Uh, I could. Let me see. Uh, I hope you could go to Instagram I, I, and share. You could go to Instagram and share the screen. No, no, yes, yeah. yeah. I can look at this. I can just I, I show it maybe here on the uh, you, Hans. I could go to Instagram. Why don't I go to Instagram and I can share the screen? Yeah, can you try that? Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea, Mark. I'd yeah. love to hear it. Wow. And and the comments were very interesting because some people said, "Oh, somebody wrote, uh, I miss that in the internet. That, that's what I miss in the internet. You know, suddenly this sound. It's like, uh, you know, 
uh, yeah, it's interesting. What people, of mm. course, some people it, oh, it's so boring, or or even <laughs> you know, like hidden comments which I usually uh, unhide as a but, but a, a little bit, you know, uh, bad language stuff. You know, like this, uh, what is your what shit is that or whatever? You know. <laughs> Funny. One second. So, you know, uh, you know. I don't know if you know this uh, term. Uh, it's a German word, so Sommerloch. That means it's like a summer uh, slurp, or, or uh, you know, something. You know, in summer, you have no news. Everybody is away. So there is a, 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 a you know, a, 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 a something which it's the summer and nothing is happening. And usually, you get a little, a, a small depression, maybe. Sometime, you know, something. And so this was perfect, suddenly, that this 2K, 5K, and then, you know, it was like completely unexpected, you know. Okay. And it's not my followers don't appear because they are so many that in the circle, you know, how many people that it, they, it's like you can't, it, graphically, you can't uh, <laughs> see it anymore, yeah. you know, the real followers. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, let's go see that? To the, yeah, let's go first to Obama. Yeah, and then did you share the sound? Um, you you have to in your in your you have to do if you don't share the sound, we can't hear it. How do it's, I do that? Uh, also, in the in the when you go to uh, share screen, do in the advanced option, there is on the lower left is a. Uh, uh, a, oh, a, okay, a, got it. I see it. I see sound. it. Otherwise okay. Hear it. Yeah, okay. Let's, see, let's hear first uh, Obama. Oh. And, and the Obama is not the movie, it's just the MP4, MP3 file, you know? And, and, and it didn't get that much because probably it's not moving. I think, you know, people stop when it's moving. They, they don't want to really look at something which doesn't move and spell here. But but still, I you think know, it's I, interesting. Hans, I can't do this right now. Really? The reason why no. is uh, because- I, I, I'm a host though. How, how do you, Hans, uh, how Hans, do you- Let me finish one second, Marie. Um, I can't share because I'm on Maureen's computer. Oh. And to share audio wants to know what her Zoom password is. I don't know. I don't know. But you could do it. You could do it. Okay, Hans, you do it. Because uh, I tried to get into the advanced. Yeah, hold on a second. Let me stop my share. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I can't do it here right now. Okay, okay. Let me see. I can do it. I'm sure. Okay. But, uh, Sorry, Mark. I was just trying to get okay. to the advanced. Don't worry. Don't uh, worry. We, we find out. Hold on. I'm sure it's... This is interesting, <laughs> by the way. Fascinating. I, yeah, it's really also a new experience for me, <laughs> you know, because uh, it's, 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 it's... You can't plan it, you know? It's not... No, uh, I, exactly. I see accounts which you... Which people, uh, they put so many tags in the... That, that you know, that, that it, it, it should work or... You know what I'm saying? And and it doesn't, you know it. So let me see if I can do that here. Yeah. What is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Okay. I go first to. Uh, let me see. I can share now. The okay. Screen. Let me know. Yeah. I do now uh, advanced, as I said. Share the sound and let's oh. see if it works. Do you see something? Yes. Okay. So you see, that's my account. So I had a lot of, you know, like regular, some art and blah, blah, blah. A lot of cats here and when I was in Switzerland. <laughs> so here is the Obama piece. Let's see if it sounds. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Please, everybody be seated. 
We salute you, Mr. President. It's great because it sounds like trombones or trumpets, you know, right. in a, you know, it's, right. it's very, yeah. I think it sounds like elephants. That, yeah, well, right. Now here is the movie of uh, that thing. Let me see. I have to. Then the next one was the boss. Let's see. No, I had this one. This is also not a movie, but it's also very interesting. Listen to it. Hold on. <laughs> That was, you see, it is a locomotive driver's commemorated colleague with locomotive wh whistles. You see, 2013. I thought that was also nice, but it's not a movie, but just sound. Wow. And then I did this in, that's the window blinds. Let's see how. You hear that? And then you see it <laughs> You know they you know you make music, you sample things, you know you do. Yeah, and yeah. Like that. And then I did uh, that's now the So these are actually these this, uh, uh, movies, you know. So what I'm going to do is then uh, I put maybe next week another one in there or whatever. Wow. Yeah. Where do you get these from? Yeah, I, you know, when, I, when I'm around and I think it's uh, something interesting, I make my own movie, movie about Mr. Phone or whatever. And it's on a bus. It's, it's just... It's it's just uh, listening to things you know and uh that's fine. i mean uh, other people maybe they make uh recordings of uh crickets i mean i did too but i but i think everyone everyone does that you know what i'm saying because Wait, you recorded that I'm obama perverted. sorry you recorded obama yes but that was uh, your yeah opinion. i mean uh, yes you know i was i was uh, watching tv and then I had to, and then I didn't have the camera. I didn't, I didn't know, you know, what happened. And so I had then later on to find somehow in the internet, like uh, uh, the sound, you know. And, uh, that's fascinating. That's, mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's uh, the thing. You're a sound sleuth. Yeah. yeah. I I like that but it's interesting that uh, you know, with with my painting, I have no success at all in the internet. <laughs> you know, it's, it's incredible. You know, nobody's interested in that. But these, <laughs> you know, it's interesting that the things that catch on are things that are you know five seconds, eight seconds, ten seconds long, because that has you know kind of a uh, a 
kind of a consistency or a resonance with the nature of social media and attention spans. Right. You know what I mean? Yes, so absolutely. It, and, and, and especially certain vibrations are probably very interesting because immediately, you know, it's like, you know, so somebody wrote something, oh, this, this had pilots to hear in the World War II, you know, in their uh, Spitfires, uh, the, you know, they were, uh, you know, the bus vibration, you know, and it's interesting, you know. And very strange. Very interesting. Like what, what people respond to, you know, what yes. catches their attention Absolutely. and then how it moves. It's yeah. like moving just in the internet, yes. you know, yeah. in this neural virtual field. Right. Strange. That's interesting. Yeah. Very. So you <laughs> never know what's going to happen. You never know. You know, I mean, yeah. this could put you on the map, sort of, or, you know, as a node, you know, it's lighting up, you know. Um, <laughs> so you're, you know, you're in there and it may, you don't know. People might, right. Right. you know, right. look at your art or look at your painting and go, you know, who knows? You might be, you know, you just don't know. Oh, yeah, it's, you, don't know it's what's amazing, you know, how... But it's also very interesting psychologically. It, you know, uh, let's say when I had 50,000, you know, Bruno, uh, my friend, your Bruno said, uh, oh, let's see, when you get 100,000, I invite you for dinner. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, after two days, I, wa I was at 100,000. Uh, <laughs> and now, listen. <laughs> Probably you don't get 120. I invite you when you have 120. Oh, you know, <laughs> that's not, oh my God, oh, that's the, the game here. I mean, <laughs> uh, it's funny. So, you know, it's very interesting. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Really strange. That's fascinating. I wonder I if there's fun. a way to combine, you know, as Mark was saying, I wonder if there's a way to combine, you know, what you're finding out with these sound bits with your art, you know, maybe that's a, maybe that's interesting. You know, if you could include sound. Why don't you try posting a sound with a graphic of one of your works and see if there's any. Yeah. Hope be. I don't know. I'm... But, but the thing is, you know, I see sometimes posts which, uh, which people underlay music, you know, famous music actually. Yeah, yeah. And it says right. on top what's playing, you know. Yes. While, while they, uh, while maybe even post a movie or whatever. Absolutely. And uh, I don't know, uh, yeah, it could work maybe. Uh, no, maybe I don't that's know. not as interesting as your, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, your unique ability to catch sound right, as right. well as the sound loop right, right. and put that in with your art. I just, yeah. It's fascinating. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it, and it's very fascinating for me because I think, you know, all, you know, there are even some people, yeah. about three people, which said, oh, too bad I was just two days after uh, that uh, 2004 born. So I couldn't uh, uh, experience that uh, sound or whatever. You know, so people relate, these young people relate that they were not, not born yet or or mm. just uh, one week old or... Uh, oh, no. It's, it's very interesting. I never thought of that, you know. There are tragedies and there are tragedies. Yeah, it's amazing. It's, it's so interesting. Uh, so. <laughs> wow. Interesting. Very. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah thanks for sharing that. Maybe, yeah, I will uh, post you. Uh, yeah, there's something there, though. There's something there. Maybe, maybe it's a peek into the millennium mind. Mm -hmm. It's a peek it into the crazy. mind of people that are trawling, you know, the uh, social media and Instagram and what's coming to their attention. Like right now on Instagram, it's really actually very, very interesting. Instagram used to be very, very uh, like insular. In other words, you would only see images of people that you were following. Then little by little, you know, Facebook or Meta or whoever was, you know, controlling the algorithm would include, uh, you know, advertisements, you know, promotion, whatever, 
and uh, images that they thought, you know, for whatever reason, you know, your connections, you know, through other people. And it just became a complete free for all. And now what you're seeing on Instagram is everything and can be anything. And at least my feed, there's, there's it, it's out of control. In other words, I'm not controlling it anymore. But the things that I'm looking at are sometimes pretty interesting because they're so unexpected and so ridiculous, you know? So <laughs> it's, it's, you get a very interesting snapshot mm -hmm. of kind of what's out there, what people are thinking about, you know, everything. And it's just out of, it's bizarre because everyone is posting everything. Everyone has cameras. Everyone has access to the whole internet. Mm -hmm. And you're getting a little glimpse of it on Instagram. It's very strange. And I guess TikTok too. I mean, some of it's, you know, obviously very trite and, you know, silly or sentimental or ridiculous. And, you know, but some of it is very interesting. Absolutely. And you can also learn, as I mean, or, or compare things. You know, I, I've listened a lot to piano music, you know, of famous artists. And there is a site which, which puts always three, let's say, Argerich, uh, Gilel, blah, 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 and uh, Barenboim, at the same piece, like, like the same sequence of a music piece, how they, how they play it. And, and it's very interesting, you know, it, it's something you... It's very, very clever things also there. Yeah. Not only stupidities or whatever. No. Good stuff. There's a lot of clever stuff. A lot of people are doing it. I have to go get a charger for my computer. Hold on. Okay. And then we go to Mary's art piece. <laughs> oh, I can only hope we could get 68,000 or 100. What did, you end up, what did you end up with? 100 and how many thousand? 130. You're going to have 10,000 accounts, yeah. And that means different accounts, you know. There are more views usually because people watch the movie maybe twice or three uh -huh. times. That counts too, you know. But accounts, you know, that so there is a difference between accounts reached and views. Views you have more because isn't that a wonderful image of of Mark's studio? Yeah. yeah. I like I it. Love it. Wonderful. Beautiful. That's a I'm real looking, artist studio. I love it. I'm looking love forward. The drips on the left side. Oh, you mean like to the left of the brushes on that wall. And the neat, neat. No. And separation of brushes. Mm. And Such and Bruno's artist. water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> That is fascinating. There's got to be something there that is is really interesting, you know. It is, and I will load probably. You know, I have about four or five pieces which I want to put up there, but uh, but I, I put it slowly there. You know that uh, not all like everything at once. No, and then. Uh, and then that's it, you know, and then uh, I post something else. <laughs> I wonder if you could include like a chip with the sound. I don't know. There's something connecting both of those. I don't know. Why? Okay. Good. Mark. Is this a performance art? <laughs> 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 It's a real art. This okay. Real. Here we it's are. Love your studio. Very good. Okay, Mary. Let's okay. So let's let me get this up. You show it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here we are. So tell me what how you want this the orientation here. Um. Well, I think that's okay. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Okay. Because uh, what I did was I sent you a few photographs just to show you a process. Yeah. Okay. So um, these are, let me just step back. What I was trying to do was to 
uh, see whether there could be some interest with multiple canvases. So the canvas on the bottom is two feet by four feet. And the smaller canvases are 18 inches by 24 inches. So this is, so these are two canvases sitting on a larger canvas? Correct. Okay, so that, so that is intentional. Yes. Okay, so you're, okay, nice. Okay, so next picture. Mm -hmm. I like these gestures, Marie. Just, oh, these, and the wide brush. Yeah, that's nice. I love the wide brush. Yeah, I got that at Home Depot. It's my favorite brush. <laughs> <laughs> if things don't, you know, turn out a little better, I could do house painting. I don't think so. No. I don't think I would hire you if no. I, you know, too if messy. This were an example of your too house messy. painting techniques. You're right. You're right. Okay, so then I said, well, I'm gonna try to include some more canvases. So I um, had, this is all I had. I had three additional 18 by 24 canvases. So I put those together and I laid them on top of, I just sat them on top of um, the first piece, but, um, I didn't like the, I, I didn't think it, it worked really well. It looks sort of like a kimono now. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Um, I like that then, idea of it being a kimono. That would be a nice series. Yeah. To do like, the shape of a kimono, you know, yeah. with panels or whatever, and then just do variations and do a kimono series. Yeah. Why not? It, yeah, it reminds me also because of that middle piece there of a cross, you know, like a, an altar, altar uh, oh, okay. piece, you know. Like with, Matisse's. I agree. That's also yeah. um, I was thinking. Go ahead, Phyllis, sorry. Vestments. Yes. It, it reminded me of like, you know, the Matisse chapel yes. in the south of France and some of the vestments that he designed. Yes. yes, I agree. Is that what you were thinking, Phyllis? Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So uh, then what I had done was I didn't like really where it was coming. So I kind of squeegeed a lot of that paint off. And I thought what it did was give me some interesting uh, stains on the canvas. And it kind of now felt like some of the pieces were like watercolor, if that makes any sense. You know, that it had a, a feel of more like watercolor. It's more, yeah, it's more spatial or ambient and illusionistic. It's right. like, yeah. Yeah. Yes. So I kind of pieced together the the canvases in ways that I uh, thought were more interesting um and it kind of felt like an underwater I don't know why but it, it sure. felt kind of more like that um yeah uh may I ask you a question Marie Please? is the, the um where does the piece end and where does it is it uh, well it ends with the next piece at the at, that's holding the whole thing. Is that part of the piece? I'm sorry, ask that again. The huge board that holds the whole thing together looks like other pieces are tapped onto it. Is that part of the piece? Yeah, yeah. So uh, the, um, the piece that's two feet by four feet starts on the left corner. Yeah and then goes to like where that purple piece comes down and then sitting on the right side, it's that two foot by four foot is gallery wrapped, that canvas. And when I put the two 18 by 24 canvases together, that thickness was the same as the gallery wrap. So the two 
pieces at the end were the same uh, height together as the uh, two foot by four foot panel. Is that what you were asking? So it is a separate piece. It's a piece on a, and a background that you use to protect the floor or whatever. Oh, oh, you mean the the, the paper below yeah. it? Oh no, no, that, I just okay, protected I got the floor. It. I'm sorry, I didn't understand what you were saying. Yeah, it was at the art studio, so I just tried to. I, uh, hold on a second. I I uh, have a, I I like the piece somehow very much, but I I, I would have I would turn it uh, up. I would turn it to that it becomes vertical, and I think that yeah. uh, it will probably much. Uh, I think it is better vertical, and I'll I'll show you when we yeah. get okay. to the next one. But it was just easier, yeah. Yeah, well, oh, that's I easy. Think it's getting more interesting when it's. Yeah, there. I thought it was more interesting this way too, because it kind of to me felt like a, um, like a pole, like a not a tail. Right. Yeah, totally, thank you, a totem pole. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I still I felt like um, I was trying to do an experiment with what Mark had suggested last time, which was to use the different heights of the canvases and show the flowing of the paint going from one to another, which I then said, I'm going to throw some paint on top of this and I, I think it made it better. I hope you agree, <laughs> which will be the next. Mm -hmm. So I, I agree with you. I think this is better. Yeah, it's better that way. Yeah, it becomes any, you know, it's a very interesting because it, it alludes to, to a, 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 a human in a way, you know. Uh, it, it, sort of because you know it's like something yeah. upright standing in this world yeah it's, yeah it has another meaning certain also you know it's a i feel yeah. it's better like this you know? it's kind of interesting marie that you know this paint is falling right off of the painting oh yeah and right into the, the background so it's a, you know I, I, you know, as soon as you lift this up, that's going to be eliminated. Yeah. Right. Well, you know, I guess I, it's, it so, sort of looks like an early cultural beginning someplace that hasn't found its way yet. Very nice. Something that's very uh, separate and beginning again. This is, uh, I took this because it was pretty. Oh, okay. I, mean, I agree, yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's right. 14, it's working. Okay. Okay. Hi, Maureen. Hi. How are you? Bye. I, uh, <laughs> yeah. So the next picture, I thought was interesting because I wanted to show you what you can't see when I photograph it this way. The only thing you can see is my sneaker. Yes. <laughs> but um, the next slide kind of gets to what Mark was talking about, which I think captures the height, the different heights and dimension. Mm -hmm. And so you can see, um, you know, how the paint falls to the next level. Right. And moves on, yeah, which was really part of that initial experiment. The, the, you know, this angle and the form, the placement of the canvases is really interesting. And even this sort of step, oh, I see. So this is sitting on also on top. Right. Okay, I like that. It's, it's really, it's a, it's would, a great idea. It would be nice if you could see it deep in. Straight top. on. You look into it from the top. Do you know what I mean? 
You mean like to be able to follow Yeah. 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 I don't know. There's something I find interesting about the different heights of the canvases. I agree. And yeah. the dimensionality of all that, which I think is what um, Phyllis is talking about. And I think I might not be able to do that with just canvases, but I could use, uh, you know, some like a round piece of uh, wood or some kind of material I, I see it uh, uh you know when you have to display it i think what the, what the great as a good uh, idea would be that you have the, these things mounted on two beams and that you that they even overlap that and they come also you see that they are mounted this is you know then it becomes a, 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 a sculpture also Oh, I like that idea. Do, do you understand? Not something hidden yeah. on, on but, a wall that, it, yeah, that that you can move it around and put it there on that wall in, yeah. in, a, in an angle and it stands there, you know, you know, as a as a sculpture, a painted, you know, a painting which is a sculpture also. That that's right. that's probably the uh, what I would suggest. That would I you know. Hans, there's a large canvas that runs under the whole thing. Do you see no, that? it doesn't run under. Oh, the it floor. doesn't. No, do you see? Oh. There, there is a break in the canvas. Right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's yeah. where. I mean, I could get a longer canvas and do it next time that way. I'm but just to build a structure. It looks like it looks like picture. that. There's a one long canvas. And then these are placed that, yeah. And then there's various levels of canvases laid on top. Like there's this one, right? right. And then there's another one here, right? Yeah. There's one here. But I like this idea. I mean, what, whichever way you do it, I like the idea of the different levels. Different levels. And, and even, you know, even this sort of random placement of various canvases like it doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical yeah. it doesn't have to just be two la layers yeah. it could be three and they you know what i mean there well, could that, be a small one a large one a small that one, actually a large is, one that that actually is there are three canvases in that yeah. center piece i think you can see that more easily two photos back yeah so I believe that this that, you can right. see is like three different canvases and then it breaks on the bottom. I, yeah. I also oh. like, you know, how heavily painted this gets, but I wouldn't, but I like also like this piece down here. Yeah. So it might be interesting to, you know, kind of mix and match, which you sort yeah. of do here. You leave this heavily painted, yeah, and then scrape some of these on the, you know. Yeah. This is nice too. This is a nice piece. For me, this one works as is. Yeah, I agree. I think it's it very strong. Soon. But I believe that uh, once you assemble that, and you really, you know, you have to. That what I would like to see is on what is it mounted? Because mm -hmm. when you have a gap, you know, then you see maybe these two beams. You yeah. see- But, but Hans, have, let me- are on these two beams mounted. And I think why, that, I would don't know. Great, that would be a great uh, uh, thing, you know? Yeah, to and, show. Uh, that that, that, that it, it's in itself, uh, the, the, everything is there then, you know? Yeah. I hear what you're saying. That's that's that that's that's what I see. But why couldn't these just be, you know, connected, you know, in some way? Um, uh, yeah, I I have always problem with that because you know, <coughs> what, then you have to, then you have put it on a wall, and then you don't see how it's mounted. You don't. It doesn't matter. Then that's true, but. But what I like here is actually that this it becomes a sculpture, 
which you can move to that wall easy or, or there. You know, what, wherever you, you can move it, the whole piece, you know. Why couldn't you move this if these were all, if this, you know, if each level were affixed to the one behind it, then it would be solid. It would be solid and, you know, I don't, yeah, but, I'm not but, sure I, I would like to see another element in there create, making it sculptural per se. It's more like a freeze. It's an arbitrary. It's a freeze or a tableau. And that yeah. would be something else. I mean, either way, I, I can see, I'm just wondering if another element is, isn't going to make it a little bit tricky, getting it right and making but, it work. But I mean, there is one version which you have this gap between, you know? Yeah. Where? And, uh, In here? No. no uh, I think the, the last. The photograph, the, the one which we... You mean this gap? Yeah, exactly. And that's I know, but this idea. canvas... It's a great idea to have a gap. Yeah. You understand? I agree. But and this canvas... Is something which holds these things together. And I don't want to have a trick that you have a feeling this is floating somewhere, you know. Uh, it should be declared, you know, as... And then it becomes a, a, a sculptural piece. But Hans, Hans, That's my Hans. Point. But this canvas here is affixed to this canvas underneath. Yeah, but just it's laying on top. It's, it's laying it, on top. Yeah, but it's not connected to the piece. Uh, then further down, there, uh, further to uh, here. Oh, exactly, it's not connected. But this piece continues underneath it. Yeah, I just separated this because I needed to put it into a place where it could dry. But when I, you know, it could be like a diptych where I just hang them together. Yeah. But I think anyway, I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, I think it's interesting because if you yeah. show the movement of the different pieces, that's what's more interesting about this piece. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I, 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 like, I like this idea very much of these, you know, various sized canvases being assembled into this sort of totemic shape, I think is really effective. Um, and then treated, you know, with different painterly, you know, uh, you know, processes, I think is really interesting. And then, you know, and the paint being also, you know, used in, concretely paint as paint you know blobs as blobs you know is consistent with the canvases also being having sculptural um you know physical concrete reality so the paint is treated in the same way as the actual canvases are treated it's all of one piece right but paint is fluid Canvases are, you know, rectangles, but they each are consistent with what they are. Of course, you know, then we're talking in, in very formal terms. And, you know, um, so it has kind of a formality, but uh, which is good and interesting, but you can also violate that and play with that too. Uh Let me see. Well, I mean, um, maybe it'd be more look. interesting to to get rid of one of the panels and just put something else, you know, you as know, you violate that so that your eye is stopping in a in one of these places that would make it more. You know, what do you? Let me ask you a question: Is this a finished piece? I don't know. I want to see how it dries. You know, I. If you like how it dries, will you put these canvases aside? Basically, either you know affix them in some way, or make notes as to where their placement should be or is, and then it's put it away. Is it a finished piece? Um, I think it could be. Yeah, I, mean, I think it should be. You do? You think it's finished? Yeah, I think it should be, and I think, and then, and now do another one. And yeah. keep, keep playing with this idea. It's a good idea. It works. It's and it's interesting. I think it was, I think it was your idea. It was? But <laughs> I think so. uh, Mary, I think 
it makes a bit the difference if you have to make a uh, the, the decision how you want to mount these things. Yeah. And I don't know if you are you familiar with this the is it called steel a steel? Yeah. Can I share the screen for a moment? Yes. Please? To Please. show to I'd show what I mean. Let me see. You see, you see a steel. Do you see my screen? Oh, yes. a Stella, a Stella, S T E L E. You see, you see what I mean? Yes. That, that it it has to be mounted on something, but it should show also how it's mounted. Here are. Oh, there's an H see, in there. I, okay. I, I see that you know that, but once you have the, the made the decision how you mount it, okay. you know. Yeah. Then you can make 10, 20 pieces of those things and you are free. Yes. And then and, and it's not only about painting, it's about something else too. Yeah, right. I mean, I like, I really like what you're saying because I think that adds to it in terms of, you know, being more dimensional, which I'm trying to get to, which is what you're saying. Yeah, I think that's the, that's what, what you need to think about. Yeah. And then once you make this decision, you are so free after that. You can do whatever to on this steel thing. Well, you know, and you can even, you move it as a sculpture. I, I, that's what I, you know, when, when it's just painting itself, yeah. I think it's not so. Not as interesting. Yeah, it's not convincing. You know, you have that you get. Uh, 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 I have a feeling you you get uh, incredible troubles in a way. Uh, you know, with it, uh, and then uh, and getting very complicated. You know how to. Then you have it's like an installation piece which you like. Well, course, it, it really wasn't that hard. You know, it's always it's just this. Yeah, well, the pieces that were down on the on the on the main canvas, I would just glue together, so that's not a problem. And then the separate one, I was thinking I could just hang next to it, like I would a diptych. So I wasn't thinking that that was difficult. But I think what you're saying that's interesting is if I could make it more sculptural, which I'm trying to do with using different canvases, you know, I, I'm trying to increase my, my marks, you know, enhance my marks mm -hmm. and make it more interesting. So maybe there's a, a more interesting way to do that, which is what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think that just exploring this idea, playing with it, doing more, you know, having the this really gloppy paint, like you know that we see in the foreground here, yeah. on one of these things, and maybe just scraped away on another one, yeah, you know, like you did here, you know, and just playing with it and doing more is is what's interesting. I don't yeah. think we need to know right now, or even if we could say right now, what is the best thing? What is you know. You have to, uh, you know, jump in there as you've already done yeah. and just keep going with this and, you know, just develop it. Find out what you want to do. Yeah. Did you like how it looked before I threw the paint better or did you like, do you think that? I like all of it. I like this. Is this the same as that? Yes. I'm just showing you how it looks yeah. on the side. Yeah, because you can't see that. I mean, you know, this also on a white wall is going to be very, very different. It's going to have a lot of power. Right. Just because of these small, you know, yeah. differences in shape, you know, these ins and outs. Yeah. Are going to make that really sculptural and very interesting. When it's seen against white, you're going to see that more, obviously, mm -hmm. clean wall. But um, 
And then this one that's scraped away with this big dark area up here is really nice. You know, these transparent areas with these very dense opaque areas is very effective. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep so, going. I think it all, it's all, it all works. You know, even, even this, just the gestural, you know, very clean with the white canvas could also be integrated into one of these. You know, you just have to, I would but just- I, But I like the potential of going into a sculptural area. I like it, it is sculptural. It is, it already is. I like that. Yeah. You know? I agree. It's physical. It has a physicality that works. That's interesting. That's a huge potential here. Well, thank you guys for your feedback. I'm, I'm going to work on all aspects of what you're saying. Because I, yeah. uh, I think it's exciting and interesting. And I would just, you know, keep you know, going, you know, just developing it, finding out what you want it to be. I mean, think of Joan Mitchell, you know, she just kind of, you know, did the, her this thing and she just did it, yeah. you know, and developed it and, and you know, she, it was obsessive. Yeah. And that's what, you know, gave, made her a great artist and have a, a very, very powerful body of work. Yeah. It's just all of the permutations, all of the possibilities you know, given her abstract yeah. gestural approach. So it's just a matter of doing it, you know, exploring it. So, so it's a good uh, idea. Yeah. Well, thanks. I think uh, that was it for today, right, Mark? What? That was it for today. That is it. Yeah. Okay. I think we say goodbye to our audience. Thank yes. you for watching. Mm -hmm. And uh, we see 